Hello and welcome to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar. In this video we'll be answering the question, what is a modal auxiliary verb? A modal auxiliary verb is a helping verb that's part of a phrase that has another verb in it that refers to events that are potential rather than definite or actual. So you'll notice that modal verbs, as listed below in red, suggest possibilities of what might happen, what should happen, what could happen, what would happen. But they're in the wrong order in the list below. So I would like you to map them onto the line from uncertain to most certain. Hit pause if you need thinking time about where you would place each of these modal auxiliary verbs on the spectrum. So how did you get on? The most certain is must. I must be there. I will be there is quite a close follow on. I shall be there. That suggests you will seek to be there. You'll try your best. I ought to be there. That implies that you would like to be there. You're not sure, but you'll try your best. I should be there. That means you're obliged. You feel that you really, seriously, you probably need to be there. I can be there, that means you're available. Now on this side of the spectrum, as we're getting to uncertain, what we're really saying is I'm probably not as free for whatever it is you want me to do. I would be there. I could be there. It's like, oh, if I have to, I will. I might be there. Oh dear, I might be there. Yeah, that means I've probably got a few other things I want to do. I may be there. Yeah. I'll try my best, but chances are probably won't be free. So for example, if I had this sentence, I blank come to the party. Hmm. And I'm trying to give my invitation uh, the best. Yes, I definitely will be there. Which of the modal auxiliary verbs would I use? But it's not just about a good scenario. Before I hit pause for you, what would you do if you weren't sure you wanted to be there? but you weren't totally uncertain, you, you were a bit available. Hit pause and then be ready to tell me both answers. So you probably should have noted if you definitely want to go, I must come to the party, I will come to the party. These are the correct answers. They're the most enthusiastic in your commitment. You're suggesting you'd really like to go. You'd actually really like to go. Whereas the more negative, the more open-minded, I could come to the party, yeah. Um, I, I might come to the party. I may come to the party. Each of these are a slight hesitancy. That means a slight pause around whether you will come or not. So bear in mind, the modal auxiliary verb, its job is to help us understand how certain or uncertain an event or action is. Now it's your turn. For each of the five sentences, I would love you to identify the modal auxiliary verb or the primary auxiliary verb. Why not hit pause if you need thinking time? So, where was your holiday to again? That is a primary auxiliary verb. It identifies that this verb is functioning to help us understand where that person, you, went on holiday to. My team ought to win this weekend at home. Ought to suggests I really believe they could win. They should do anyway. Maybe they're playing against an easy side. That's a modal auxiliary verb though, ought to. I feel almost certain about it. You did all that running for charity. That's a primary auxiliary verb. I'm checking that you did all of that. I'm helping myself understand that for clarification. We could be winners in the competition. This person is using the modal auxiliary verb to suggest they feel mm, hopeful they could win. And finally, you must believe in yourself. This is a modal verb of absolute certainty. Without modal auxiliary verbs, the world would just be full of absolutes of yes or no. And let's be honest, we all know that the world is full of many things that are not certain at all. We need modal verbs to clarify what we must do, what we ought to do, 
what we should do, what we could do, what we might do, frankly, what we may do. Without them, things would be much more difficult to unpick and also much less clear to say exactly what we hope should, could or would happen. Why not subscribe to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar for all things English, literary and grammatical?